Shalom and welcome to the video lesson sampler. We're excited to showcase our new video edition. Hebrew Podcasts now offers its members a video version of each lesson with a new video every two weeks. In this video sampler, we'll see excerpts from four different lessons. Let's start with lesson two and learn a few of the letters of the Hebrew alphabet. Noah, let's begin with the first letter of the alphabet. Aleph. This letter, Aleph, is one of a few letters in Hebrew that can serve as either a consonant or a vowel. Hebrew uses accents called nikud rather than vowel letters to indicate the sound. There are five basic sounds in Hebrew. A, E, I, O, and U. We should mention that in modern Hebrew writing, the nikud is simply omitted. You'll need to read whole words and remember how to pronounce them. So Aleph is mostly used as a consonant. Let's see an example. Arye. That's a lion. Arye. The A sound comes from the throat. It sounds like U in up, but a bit more from the throat. The next letter is... Nun. Nun sounds like the letter N. Like Kaf Sufit and Mem Sufit, Nun at the end of a word is Nun Sufit. And an animal starting with Nun is... Nesher. A vulture or eagle. Nesher. We come to the last letter of the Hebrew alphabet. Tav. This letter sounds like the letter T. It also sounds a lot like the Hebrew letter Tet. This makes spelling hard. How can you tell whether to use Tet or Taf? One clue is that Tet is more often used in words borrowed from other languages, like the name of the Israeli town of Tveria, which is named after the Roman emperor Tiberius. So Noah, to finish off, how about an animal that begins in Taf? Tanin. That's right, Tanin, which means an alligator. And with Taf, we come to the end of this lesson that was entirely dedicated to the Hebrew alphabet. Let's continue our sampler with a clip from lesson 5 in which we'll learn to count from 1 to 10. Repeat after Noah. Achat. Shtaim. Shalosh. Arba. Chamesh. Shesh. Sheva. Shmone. Teisha. Eser. Next in our sampler is a quick review of colors in Hebrew, followed by the dialogue from Lesson 11. Shalom Noah, Shalom Rina. Shalom. The subjects of our lesson are clothes and colors. Repeat after Noah. Bgadim v'tzvaim. Bgadim v'tzvaim. Before we get to the dialogue between Noah and Rina, let's begin by reviewing the names of some articles of clothing. Let's start with pants. Michnasaim. Michnasaim. A shirt. Chultza. Chultza. A dress. Simla. Simla. A skirt. Chatzait. Chatzait. And a coat. Meil. Meil. Well done. Next, let's learn how to say the names of some colors. Black. Shachor. Shachor. White. Lavan. Lavan. Red. Adom. Adom. Orange. Katom. Katom. Yellow. Tsahov. Tsahov. Green. Yarok. Yarok. Blue. Kahol. Kahol. And purple. Sagol. Sagol. Excellent. Let's listen to the dialogue. We'll then go through it piece by piece. Rina, Ezo Matana, Atroza, Leom Hahuledet. Ani Rotza, Begadim, Hadashim. אבל כבר יש לך הרבה בגדים בארון. הם לא באופנה. הצבעים שעכשיו באופנה הם שחור ולבן. יש לי רק צהוב, אדום וחום. אני רוצה לקנות חולצה, חצאית ומכנסיים בשחור ולבן. 
טוב, נלך לקניון בבוקר. To conclude our sampler, here are some clips from lesson 16, in which we discuss the Israeli delegate to the Beijing Olympics and their medal prospects. Let's start by listening to the entire dialogue. We'll then review it piece by piece. Danny, אתה נוסע לאולימפיאדה בסין? לא, הגזמת. אני אראה את זה בטלוויזיה. אני אוהבת לראות את טקס הפתיחה. גם אני. אני רוצה לראות את המשלחת הישראלית. אתה חושב שישראל תזכה במדליה? אני לא יודע, אולי בטניס זוגות. שחר פאר הגיע לרבע הגמר בווימבלדון. היא שחקנית מצוינת. בבייג'ין היא תשחק ביחידות וגם בזוגות. גם לאנדי רם ויוני ארליך יש סיכוי טוב. הם ניצחו השנה באליפות אוסטרליה הפתוחה. אני כבר לא יכולה לחכות. מתי האולימפיאדה מתחילה? ב-8 לאוגוסט. Danny didn't know if Israel would win a medal. Perhaps in doubles tennis, he said. אולי בטניס זוגות. אולי בטניס זוגות. In this sport, Israel has strong representation for both the women and the men. For the women, there is Shachar Peel. This 21-year-old is a strong player for both singles and doubles. At Wimbledon, she reached the quarterfinals in doubles and also did quite well in singles. And with that, we conclude our sampler. Please come to our website and become a member today. You'll be able to watch each lesson online and download it to a portable media player such as an iPod. Each lesson is accompanied by a lesson guide that provides a full transcript, exercises, and a wealth of additional information to maximize your learning. That's it for today. Until next time, Shalom Veli Traot!